My name is Irina Keverina and I'm a professor in Cell and Developmental Biology Department at Vanderbilt. The focus of my lab is the organization and function of microtubules that is skeleton in cells. Microtubules are uh, intracellular tracts. They serve as tracts for uh, intracellular trafficking and for positioning of organelles. And this is a very global function which is important for all cell types. So our this is why uh, disturbance of microtubules can underlie a variety of diseases from ne neurodegeneration to cancer and many others. On one hand, we want to understand very global, very overarching mechanisms that regulate microtubule network in, uh, in cells. And also how those networks uh, organized by those mechanisms, how do they influence cellular functions. And on the other hand, we are very interested and fascinated by how uh, variable microtubule networks can be in differentiated specialized cells. So some cell types are very important for our organism, like pancreatic beta cells that secrete insulin into the bloodstream, but microtubule networks have never been studied in those cells. So we started using this model, and it has been very interesting, and we find a very interesting novel regulation of insulin secretion by microtubules in the system. So our major experimental toolbox is biological microscopy. We use a variety of different uh, uh, advanced techniques, high-resolution microscopy and super-resolution microscopy, but uh, our favorite is live cell imaging. It is because we are not only interested in what happens in a cell, but also where and when exactly it happens. And we are, can apply it to both single cells and cells within a tissue. For example, our methods allow us to uh, specifically image and analyze single secretion events of insulin on the cell membrane for those beta cells which are embedded in their natural physiological environment in a, pancre a whole pancreatic islet. This is pretty advanced and uh, uh, not many people are um, able to do this, so we are really finding very new and very important uh, features of microtubule regulation of insulin secretion in this system. What attracted me to my area of research to study the cytoskeleton is on one hand it is the um, uh, multidimensionality of the problem. Because when we study cytoskeleton, it's not only we're studying cell physiology and metabolism, but it also has a component of uh, biopolymer physics and uh, protein biochemistry. So it's a very complex problem, it's very challenging, and uh, it is fascinating for us to uh, try to address such a multidimensional pr problem. Also requires computational modeling for us to understand it. And on the other hand, there is this aesthetic artistic component to it, because every time when we image uh, our cells uh, in the microscope, the microscope image, uh, some of them, they look like stunning pieces of art. And uh, like, you know, making a movie on the microscope uh, in your lab, it's like having a small Hollywood studio in your lab. So it is very rewarding lab routine, so we really love it. So what we do is basic science, and it is pretty simple to understand why it's important. Like to, to uh, repair any mechanism, we need to understand how mechanism works. To cure any disease, we need to understand underlying physiology on organismal level, on cellular level, on molecular level. Uh, and uh, there are multiple examples in history when people were studying, the scientists were studying certain problem out of sheer scientific curiosity, and then this ended up uh, becoming a basis for some uh, groundbreaking technology or uh, therapeutic approach. So we're just making small steps into understanding of the basics of, of uh, nature, and uh, uh, some of those steps are going to save lives in the future. It was our first big success in the lab when we were able to characterize Golgi-derived microtubules. Uh, this uh, uh, discovery at that time went against the dogma in the field because uh, it was believed that microtubules in interface cells are only nucleated at the centrosome, which is an organelle in the center of the cell. But what we found is microtubules actually can be nucleated and grow from the Golgi membranes. And uh, this was the first non-centrosomal microtubule organized in center to be characterized uh, being abundant in uh, uh, mammalian cells. So this was quite a big 
uh, step forward at that time, and now it is uh, an accepted uh, uh, concept in the field. Basic research just builds a foundation for potential technologies and therapeutics, so it does not bring immediate profit. So we do rely on uh, a research grant funding to do what we do, and uh, we need uh, um, grant funding to pay salaries, to uh, provide stipends and tuition for our students, buy reagents and equipment, everything. It is also important that uh, independent funding is being granted to our students and postdocs as fellowships, because this is very important for their future career, su career success and also very important for their uh, independence and uh, creativity development as scientists. Research funding is very competitive, and the grants are selected for funding after peer review, after critical evaluation by a committee of scientists. And uh, this is important that we not only get funding, like the money is themselves, but also that uh, uh, getting a grant means that your research project has been vetted and approved by a committee of experts. So it is very important for us to also have this approval. I was recruited to Vanderbilt as an assistant professor in 2005, already 15 years ago. And uh, immediately from the start, I was quite impressed by the amount of uh, attention and support that fa young faculty get here at Vanderbilt. And uh, with time, I uh, started appreciating the, the whole collaborative atmosphere at Vanderbilt because here you can find a collaborator in any area of research that you want. And Vanderbilt is actually very well known by its um, collaborative relationships between uh, the labs and departments. And uh, uh, for us it is very important to have a great group of cytoskeletal researchers here, people who study trafficking, computational biologists, and also diabetes research center. Uh, Besides that, Vanderbilt is uh, great because uh, of the high level of graduate and undergraduate students, and it is very rewarding to work with talented new generation of scientists. I also learned to understand that uh, now, once you start your own lab, it's not only, uh, it's not about you anymore. Once you start your own lab, it's not about you anymore. It's about those trainees, there's new generation of scientists with whom you interact who actually do the work in the lab. And uh, uh, it is uh, them who drive their research. I can advise uh, maybe four very short things to uh, new students and postdocs. And uh, one, read, read, and read. Know your literature. Second, when you design your experiments, uh, design them in a way so that you can get a yes or no answer to the hypothesis that you're testing. Uh, third, work hard. You cannot get away without it. And finally, follow your passion. It is your project. Do what you want. So, I studied in Moscow, in Russia. Uh, I went to Moscow State University and then I did my PhD in a cancer research center. My mentor was Yuri Vasilyev, who was a legendary Russian scientist. And we studied uh, microtubular regulation of, of uh, cancer cell migration. Then I moved to Austria to do my postdoc in the laboratory of Vic Small. And uh, there we discovered microtubule targeting of focal adhesions, which was my first significant scientific discovery. Um, uh, then I was recruited uh, to Vanderbilt uh, as an assistant professor. So as it happens, I have always studied the role of microtubule in the regulation of certain cellular structure. First it was cancer cell migration, then it was adhesion turnover, and uh, now it is predominantly a study how microtubules regulate membrane trafficking and membrane organelle positioning.